Here's another question we have. How are you using different sources of data to predict air pollution at a place where maybe there's no sensor available? Right. So thank you for putting this question in this order because it really helps me uh, when I explain what are the limitations of uh, the monitoring station. Now I can complete it with what we do. So yes, we believe that monitoring stations are really accurate and they're a reliable source that we put into our algorithm, but it's not enough. Uh, so we add to that other layers of information. For example, we add traffic information that we collect every 12 to 13 minutes. We collect uh, data about traffic jams and the speed of the cars, and we relate that to air pollution for each location uh, around the globe. We use weather information, we use satellite information, we use dispersion uh, models, we use regional and global models, as I explained before, the effects are both. And we use uh, machine learning to predict air quality in time. So we predict or we uh, report real-time data rather than delayed data. Uh, this, this data is uh, processed. Um, we use over 35 different algorithms and we generate over 1.8 terabytes uh, of information every single hour. Uh, you can see numbers for the pollutants and the different health categories as well.